This was the moment tens of thousands of Yemenis took to the streets of Sana'a, calling for political reforms. It was February the 11th, 2011. The protest movement spread, galvanizing the nation against the rule of President Ali Abdullah Saleh, especially in the main cities of Aden and Taiz. And despite a government crackdown, the long-serving Saleh was forced to resign. Abdrabbu Mansour Hadi took over. A reconciliation process started, and for a brief moment, it seemed Yemen was headed for peace. But that changed when in 2014, Houthi rebels backed by Iran took control of the capital and most of the country. The 2011 Arab Spring was a movement manipulated by the West and staged by the Muslim Brotherhood to undermine the Muslim world. Then we launched in 2014 a new revolution to save Yemen. In 2015, a coalition led by Saudi Arabia stepped in to reinstate President Hadi and halt the Houthi advance in the south. Yemen plunged into a sectarian conflict. The north is under control of the Houthis, while the southern cities of Aden and Taiz are predominantly Sunni. I couldn't have been more proud of the revolution we launched. Freedom is so precious that we have to continue the fight. The reason why instability continues is because the world has betrayed us. The port city of Aden is no longer under Houthi control. It's now the headquarters for President Hadi and his government. But there's a movement in Aden and in the south that wants to separate from the rest of the country. People here strongly believe that the only way out is to establish an independent state in southern Yemen. This is a crucial moment for us and we are determined to have a state of our own. The UN has been trying to narrow the differences, but those on the ground say it's failed to build trust between the rival factions. Six years since the start of the pro-democracy movement, Many protesters have now joined the battlefield, turning against each other. A reminder of a nation descending into despair. Hashim al-Baral, Jazeera.